Hello, good evening, everyone. This is Claire McLean from the Neuro Collaborative, and I wanted to jump in and do a Facebook Live tonight. Um, Aaron and I have some planned out this week because we wanted to make sure and let people know about um, the opening of our Neuro Tribe, which is a power networking group for neurophysical therapists and other healthcare professionals who are really passionate about working with people with neurologic conditions and want to improve uh, their patients' lives, their clients' lives, their own lives. Um, what we experienced personally, um, I'd say both Erin and I, is a love of working with clients with neurologic condition, uh, but some challenges along the way. Uh, one challenge that we've seen is that there are somewhat limited positions in terms of where you can go work and be able to work with this population. A lot of times in cities or in towns, it's the hospital is one of your only options. There may not be private practices. There may not be community programs or anywhere else that people are able to go. So one frustration just can be, where can I get a job like this, working with the population that I love working with? Uh, one frustration uh, that we have both experienced is working inside of a system where there may be some things that are great uh, that you're able to do and the number of clients you're able to see and um, the diversity that you're able to see in the, in the clients that you work with. Um, but then there can be some challenges where there is some red tape. Maybe you want to start new programs or try doing things differently and that is challenging. Or maybe, um, you know, there is such a need in the community that there are so many clients and patients getting referred to you that you are spread super thin, you're only able to see people every few weeks and not really feel like you're making a difference in their life. Um, we have been there and felt like, you know, we really want to use evidence-based practice and research, but a lot of times that uh, indicates that we need to see people at a higher frequency with more intensity. And that can be limiting in a big system that really is there to accommodate a lot of people. So both Aaron and I um, have experienced these things throughout our career. And both of us were able to make a big leap and do something on our own. And both of us were able to do that because we knew other people who had done it. I don't think I would have done it myself if I didn't know others who own clinic or special community programs, um, nonprofits. I have a lot of inspiration in my life of people who do things differently and aren't afraid to take a risk and go out on their own. And that um, example um, and those friendships have been instrumental in me feeling comfortable to go out and do something on my own as well and do something different and a little bit scary and not knowing for sure how it was going to work out, but feeling pretty confident that there was a need um, that I could fill. So we just wanted to share a little bit. We know where a lot of people are coming from, and so that is the reason that we started NeuroTribe. Um, Aaron did a video yesterday talking about uh, the specifics of why we started NeuroTribe, and I just wanted to go into a little bit more detail that we feel like we, through just our friendships and community here in Southern California, which we're really lucky to have the University of Southern California, multiple PT programs, some amazing rehabilitation hospitals, some amazing colleagues, we really have access to a lot here, and we knew that that is what really supported us in being able to move forward in our career and try exciting and different things. And so we wanted to provide the same type of thing for people everywhere. So depending on where you live and where you work and what type of setting, um, you may or may not have kind of that professional network in your area that is, is excited to try new and different things and support you in doing that. And so we wanted to be able to offer that online. And that's the cool thing now is that you can have online communities like our power, or sorry, our Neuro Collaborative Professionals uh, Facebook group is a great place to come in, ask questions, share. There's so many amazing people in there who are doing such cool things. Um, I think it's really nice to know what's going on in different areas, and it's really helpful to hear about people's successes, to know that different models and different types of things can work, so that uh, Neuro Collaborative Professionals Facebook group is a great place to start, and then we really wanted to take it to the next level. Uh, that Facebook group is really, you know, how much you get out of it is dependent on going in there, searching through things, and we wanted to set up something that would have a little more structure to it. Um, and think about what's the type of content that would be helpful for people. And a lot of what we need actually is mindset work. You know, yes, there's always more to learn clinically and stay up to date on research, but for a lot of neuro, especially physical therapists and occupational therapists, other healthcare professionals, we need to kind of switch our mindset into 
thinking about what are the possibilities? What are the gaps and needs in our communities and for our clients and patients? And can we set up a business that can be successful to fill those needs? So um, we definitely need to be working on our mindset and knowing, you know, really believing what is possible. Then we also need to have that group of peers who are also doing amazing things that we can share with. So um, <clears throat> we now have about 30 people who are in NeuroTribe so far It for the past few months. It's been going great. And it's really awesome to have um, these people all across the country who are doing amazing things that we're able to share and learn from. And they say, well, this is how I got started. This is what I wish I had known when I started. I would have done this differently. Or here's this resource for legal questions. And here is somebody else doing something very similar to what you want to do. Let's connect you. You know, do you want to do a mobile practice? Do you want to rent space in a gym? There are tons of different business models that can work, and it definitely helps to meet people who have done something like that to hear what they've done and how they've been successful. So we have this peer network that you can draw from anytime. You know, we have separate social um, networking that we can use online. We also obviously have email access to each other. We meet on a regular basis to kind of check in and see how everybody's doing and allow us to move forward. Um, so that's kind of the setup of NeuroTribe. Um, and we would love to have you join us. So if you're interested in something like this, where you're thinking, I would like to make a change, or I have some frustrations and I want to explore what is out there and then have that support going forward, we would love to have you um, in the Neuro Tribe. This week we are opening up to new members coming in. We do this only for short periods of time, a couple times throughout the year, because then once we get a new group of people in, we want to get everybody on board and then move forward and really, you know, be able to utilize that group as opposed to if it was open at any time, it would be, you know, hard to kind of get everybody on board and moving at the same pace. So that's why we only open for a period of time, get as many people in as possible who are excited to learn and join us, and then all move forward together. Um, so... And also, it may, you may be thinking, okay, I don't want to start my own business. And that is totally fine. If you are a healthcare professional working with neurologic patients or clients and you want to optimize your career and maybe do things differently, it really can happen in any setting as a business owner or as an employee. We're able to help um, and discuss these different types of things. We've had people who are working in a hospital setting and maybe at one point in time were feeling frustrated and maybe think at some point in time they'd like to own their own business but they're not ready yet for that type of leap. So we also can just problem solve and say, okay, in the setting that you're working in, what are you know some of the things that are really challenging for you and frustrate you? Hey, Brian. Um, and what are ways that you could you know that you could make that better? Are there is there a program you could start? Is there someone you could communicate with? Would bringing in a student? You know, there are so many ideas, and I think that's really great with this group is that so many people are positive and excited about what they're doing. And even if you felt like you get in a little bit of a rut, we are there to help build you back up and figure out some solutions to help you be happier in whatever situation you're going to be in. And maybe during that time you're thinking, okay, my long-term goal is to own my own business, so what are some steps I might wanna take now to move forward in that direction? And there are definitely some things that can be really helpful, like getting your name more known in the community, making sure that you know the neurologists in the area and they know who you are, speaking at um, support groups in the area, or participating in different meetings. There's a lot of things that you can do both while you are working somewhere just to maybe expand what your um, responsibilities are at work to keep things interesting and different and new. That can be really helpful when you're feeling a little frustrated or in a rut. Um, and then it also helps you as you kind of can build a name for yourself in your community in case you do want to start a business at some point in time. So really, no matter what setting you're in, the Neuro Tribe can be helpful. Um, we definitely have quite a few people who are thinking about starting their own businesses and exploring those and looking into what are the different models and how might I set that up. We also have a number of people who have started businesses, so we're able to share our experience with that and help kind of problem solve and figure things out because we know kind of in the neuro world, there are less uh, private practices. There are some, and there are some very successful clinics that it's great to know about and learn from, but it is definitely much less common uh, than orthopedic physical therapy clinics. And when you go out on your own, it is different than working in a hospital setting. Understanding the financial piece um, and how it all works, it, there is a lot to learn. It's a big learning curve. But I know there are so many people who are doing it and loving it and feel really 
satisfied in their work, feel like they're really able to help their clients the most that they possibly can, implement research, um, figure out you know what is really best for this person, and if we have um, insurance-based physical therapy, you know, how can we make sure to maximize that and help people utilize it? And then what might they need afterwards? Because we know that insurance can't pay for ongoing access to services all year round. There are definitely limitations. So what else do people need? What kind of wellness services are there? Classes in the community and figuring out what do you really enjoy doing and what would get you excited to wake up in the morning? So sometimes that just takes some time to figure that out because we are... Um, pretty practical people, usually therapists. We go to school, we get educated, we come out, we start working, we think this is kind of how it all works. And then when we get a little bit frustrated, it's hard to think outside the box and think, how could this be different? How could I set this up in a way that it would be really enjoyable for me to do while also helping people at the same time and really ideally helping the healthcare system. Let's reduce costs. Let's reduce illnesses and injuries and falls and fractures. There is so much potential for helping people to such a high degree. It's just, it gets me very excited. So I think that is one of the biggest benefits of being in NeuroTribe is being around people who are really excited about what they're doing and we can all draw from each other. And I'm not saying that I'm always excited or that I don't have challenges. That is definitely something I expect for my entire career to have challenges and at different points, you know, think about what would I like to do differently? What can I change about this situation so that I feel really good about what I'm doing? I still feel like I'm helping people as much as I possibly can and know that that's going to be an evolution over time. Sorry, this video is a little, the sun is setting, so I'm getting <laughs> the sun. It's, I have to end my video by here, I think. That's the timer that's going off. Um, but yeah, so we wanted to come in just today and talk about some of those frustrations of feeling like you're in a system that you can't really change, um, not feeling like you're able to see your patients and clients as much as you need to to really help them get better. Maybe you feel like there is some great technology or other things that you would like to use, but you don't, there is no budget for it. You're not able to implement that. So what are, you know, what are the things that you could change about your current position to help you enjoy it more, really love what you're doing? We can help problem solve that. And then we definitely do want to encourage people who are interested in going out on their own because we feel like there is such a need that is not filled by hospitals and the current healthcare system. So we do feel like there is a huge blue ocean of opportunity for businesses where you could really set things up in a way that works for you, works for your life, makes you really happy, and also helps people in new and different ways that they maybe haven't been helped before. Or maybe there are some programs like that, but not in your community. In most cities and most towns across this country, there are not places for people to go to access high quality neurologic physical therapy after, you know, maybe they've had access in a hospital and then that's it after that. They don't necessarily have a place to continue to go and exercise exercise afterwards in a safe environment with some guidance and supervision. So there is just, like I said, a blue ocean out there of opportunity. And we are here to help support you in figuring out what you might want to do with that um, and stay connected and educated along the way. Um, so I don't see any questions so far. Um, definitely let us know if you have any questions about what the NeuroTribe is. We have more details um, on our website on uh, neurocollaborative.com. There is a link uh, to go to the NeuroTribe and that's where you can sign up if you wanna join us. And there's also more information about what it, all it entails. If you have any questions, definitely let us know. You can post here, and then you can also email us. We realize there might be some questions that you don't want to post publicly, but you'd like some more information, so you can email us at info at neurocollaborative.com. And I think uh, I'll let you guys go for this evening then. Um, please, again, join our uh, neurocollaborative professionals group. It's a great place to discuss. If you're looking for more um, connectedness, more content, more opportunity for discussion with the group, then join us in NeuroTribe. If you have any questions about any of that, let us know. And I hope you all have a good evening. Thanks.